Hello, my veteran friends. This week, we're going to have some fun with dropped D tuning. Uh, probably some of you are familiar with it, but uh, it's a simple form of an alternate tuning. Uh, typically, as you know, the guitar is tuned E, A, D, G, B, E. And what we do with drop D tuning is we take our low E string, I'm gonna turn my tuner on here, and we drop that down to a D. So it drops a whole step down to a D. Everything else stays the same. Um, but what you want to be sure to do is when you lower that E string down to a D, you want to check all your other strings because typically um, some will sharpen up a little bit because you're lowering the tension on the neck. So as I suspected, my A sharpened a little bit. D is a little bit sharp. G. The B is way sharp. And the E is about right. So that's a really nice sound. I remember when I first learned drop D tuning, I just couldn't get enough of that low end, beautiful bass. So, um, it's obvious I'm playing a D chord here. Again, just checking my tune. Okay, so the song we're gonna do today, or this week, is Rain by the Beatles. Um, I think 1966, it was the B-side of the single Paperback Writer. Some of you are probably too young to know what B-side means, but back in the day when I was a kid, uh, people used to release singles. So the A-side was the hit. The B-side was the song they uh, threw in there uh, to fill on the other side. Because on vinyl, you had two sides to a record. Anyway, let's not, let's not get into ancient history. So in Rain, we're using this drop D because it's kind of a drony song. So we're going to let that D ring out pretty much throughout the whole song. So uh, the D is straightforward, and you're playing all six strings. <clears throat> There's a G in it. So what I would do is um, play a G, but leave the D string open. So play a G like you know it. So you're fretting the fifth string on the second fret, and you're fretting the first string on the third fret, and you're still letting that D ring out. Now, as you know, I like to also fret the second string on the third fret when I'm playing a, a G. So you've got a D, You've got a G, and you've got an A in the song. Um, so you can play an A whatever is the most comfortable way for you. You can bar it. You can cram your fingers in there for your A. Um, what I'm doing is playing... Uh, I'm playing... Uh, I'm using my um, index finger on the fourth string second fret. And I'm using my ring finger on the second string on the third fret. It's a, it's a form of an A, but it fits really well with this song because it's got a D note there. And you can play either five strings or you can play all six to keep that drone D going on the bottom of this song. So thanks for bearing with me. We spent a lot of time on tuning the chords here. Um, so the song is a, so I'm hitting the bottom three strings, down, down. So I'm hitting the bottom three and then down, down, kind of the last song we did. So let's just get into it. If the rain comes, they run and hide their head. They might as well be dead. If the rain comes, if the rain comes, when the sun 
Trippy old Beatles song, Rain, John Lennon's song from 1966. I hope you enjoyed uh, playing Drop D. Maybe we'll do something else next week in Drop D that has a little more action to it, a little more movement. But I thought for this week it'd be nice to play a kind of a droning Drop D song. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll send you a song next week. Until then, Adios, amigos.